Hello, this is Tabby, and welcome to a, another live stream. We're basically jumping off from where we were yesterday. Uh, for those that are watching uh, yesterday's stream, will know that uh, I was in the middle of building something, and it was for people in Europe, VE Day, which is kind of like Victory Day, uh, just celebrating when we won uh, World War II. Um, and there was kind of like a, a gathering, like a, a distant gathering where everyone was going to go outside the front of their houses and have like drinks and wave and stuff. And so uh, I thought that was going to be at 6 p.m. ended up being 4 p.m. So I had to, to shut the stream uh, short. I hope to get back on that day, uh, but I didn't have time. So here we are. Uh, but don't worry if you weren't watching the last stream. Like, it's Animal Crossing. There's no story or anything. Like, you're not, you've not missed out on anything. It will be absolutely fine. Hello to Peanut Breadman, welcome to the stream. Hello to I Like Potatoes, who just says barbecues. Hello to, uh, to Fraz, who says uh, hi stamps. Hello to uh, Ice Pie, who says a hi stampy. Uh, hi to Trip. I didn't see what you said because the chat started going very fast. Now I started giving shout outs. <laughs> Hello to, to everyone and uh, and welcome to the, the stream. Let's not delay. Let's get straight into the uh, the action. I'm starting my my day on Animal Crossing. I haven't played yet to today. So we'll have our, our beginning. I'll have a, a little look around my island just to, to gather the, the fruit and stuff. Uh, just because I know that every time I stream Animal Crossing, uh, it's a lot of people's uh, first time seeing the world. And oh no, it's raining! I hate and like when it's raining. It's nice because I don't need to water the plants, but also I don't like it because... Um, because it's raining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's all like dark and stuff. <laughs> My like uh, glasses, like there's really, is that like the TV screen you can see on them? They're like super like glowy. I'm trying to like look at that. I'm wearing different glasses though. These are like the glasses, oh, let me change my glasses. These are the glasses that like change into uh, into sunglasses. Are these the right glasses? No, these aren't the right glasses. I've got too many glasses. Oh, I think they're downstairs, right? These are going to have to do. They're like really like super duper reflective. Doesn't really matter. We'll just carry on. <laughs> we'll just carry on like nothing happened. Uh, oh, as soon as it's raining, I guess I'll change into my current water outfit, which is my grape duck outfit. I should get an umbrella. I think I've got, I think I've got some umbrellas. Let's go grab an umbrella as soon as it's raining while we go around the, uh, the island. So first things first, I'm going to go to my rock garden. Because I know a lot of you haven't seen that yet. And uh, also I need to gather my rocks because it's the start of a new day. Uh, we can check out the, the shop and stuff. And then I'm planning on building both a turnip garden. Which is what I believe is in the uh, the title of the, of the, uh, the stream. Yeah, turnip farm. And then I also want to do like a flower farm uh, as well. Which is going to be like an actual farm. The turnip farm is more just a place to store my turnips other than just like... Putting them all over my house. Where are umbrellas? Would they be in like clothes? They are. Okay, we have leaf, we have kiwi, or we have fish. We won't do a proper poll because I'm too lazy. But everyone spam in the chat. Fish, kiwi, or leaf. And that will be the uh, the umbrella I'll use for, for today. I'll just try and see what most people are saying. I haven't said potatoes. Uh, a lot of kiwi on leaf. I think most people are going kiwi. Not much love for the the fish. Poor fish. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go kiwi. It's hard. It's hard to judge with that many people writing at the same time. But I think kiwi might have just about squeaked out ahead. There we go. I mean, it doesn't fit the uh, the outfit overall that well. Maybe there'll be a, a better one in the in the shop. But oh, I've been sent something from Stafy. Use it in good health. Okay, and uh, all labels message me. You were very helpful the other day. Uh, here are two tailor tickets. Uh, you can exchange them for items up to three thousand bells or less in the tailor shop. That's cool. As uh, so if we end up buying anything for a new outfit, I can use my my new tokens. I did spend more than that. In the other uh, shop the other day, uh, Grand Atlas Moth Model. What has Stacy sent me? Let's go see. It's got to be better than the last present she gave me. The last present she gave me was a giant lump of poo, like an actual giant lump of poo, as like a puzzle. Oh wow! 
Oh, wow. Where shall I? I wonder, this might actually fit in with my office quite well. It could actually fit in uh, in pretty good. Uh, no Alex can right now, I'm afraid, Anna. Uh, Alex isn't uh, isn't about. I think it would kind of fit in with the style here. But I don't really know where I would put it. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite big, isn't it? <laughs> let's just let's just leave it for there. But like the colors kind of fit in quite well. Maybe when I do my games room in my basement, I could find a place for it there. Pretty cool though. I need to I need to find something to, to send back to, to Stacy. Right, let's go over to my uh, to my rock garden then. So for those that didn't see the last stream, all six rocks spawned in a row. Just the the way I wanted them. All of the mannequins that I needed to to spread around my island in order to um, like set where the rocks would spawn. They're all gone now. So we have a uh, a creepy smiley face mannequin free island. I, th I think this is going to be worth it. Like as long as I keep playing Animal Crossing for long enough to make the most of it. Like I, th I think I'm glad. Like even though it basically meant I could barely play Animal Crossing for a week. I, I still think it was worth it. Because I think like... And I'm, maybe this is big-headed because I built it. But I think my rock garden looks great. <laughs> and it's so much easier. Because otherwise all of these six rocks would be all spread around the island. In random places. Possibly in the way. And I'd have to run around and like dig little holes behind the rocks in order to dig them away. But now I can just go and gather them up super easily. <laughs> I should just have centipede. <laughs> I've already... Uh, oh. Is this still? Oh no! I, I think I. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I might just leave that rock because I don't want to, to knock the snail off their home. But they they went off for a roll anyway. Thank you, uh, Awodo, who just says that it does look great, stance. Thank you as well to uh, to Jinx Walker, who just says uh, I love the spell of turnips. And uh, oh, Rocky's here as well. Good morning from me. Your rock den is marvellous. Thank you very much. I think it'll be like, for people that haven't seen the streams, like for people that uh, visit the world, I think it'll be one of the things that like, they'll be like, whoa, how did you do that? And then I explain how to do it. And they're like, whoa, there's no way I'm going to do that because that, <laughs> that sounds like it would take way too much work. <laughs> Hello to Chelsea. She says, watching this while I paint. Do you mean like, are you painting like, painting the walls or are you doing like, like artistry painting or like decorating painting, I guess, is what I'm trying to, to ask. Oh, money trees. Oh, it's been so long since I've had a money tree because while doing the, the rock thing, the money trees weren't spawning. I have, I have missed getting my free money. The thing is, it's going to be a while until any of these actually grow. But it's gonna be uh it's gonna get me way more bell soon. Alright, I will replant it somewhere near my house. That's actually another thing I wanna do is I do wanna have a a set place where all of my like I plant all of my money trees for where I want them to, to grow. Alright, is any of the, the trees growing up here for fruit? Oh, this is my little Zen garden for those who haven't seen it. Like everything looks so much worse when it's raining. Like, I really hate it so much when it's raining. I need to make, like, an area that's, like, meant to look good in the rain. Because everywhere else is, like, looks nicer when it's all sunny. Like, I got, like, a, a lovely outdoor restaurant down here. Which I could not imagine anyone going to while it's all raining. Right, this is what I was after. After the, uh, the fossils. So this is the plant. For those that are just joining in. We go around the island. We gather up the, the fossils. Maybe get a bit of fruit. And then we'll take them to the museum. We'll go to the shop, see what's new. Maybe we'll go to the clothes shops as well, seeing as I got my tickets. Yeah, this is my restaurant. It's not very nice. <laughs> In the rain. And then we will begin building. Uh, I actually, I started this dream a little bit later than I originally intended to. Just because I remembered that it's uh, that it's Saturday. And oh, I've learned the recipe for a bamboo hat. Let's check that out. And uh, yeah, Tom Nook should be in town. So I thought we could uh, do what I've done before 
and uh, and oh, that was quite cool. Oh, I like that table as well. Oh, it's a stool. Ooh, I might use that somewhere. I can make uh, make my own bookcases now as well. Yeah, so KK Slider will be in town. So after six p.m., you're able to to do a request, and he does like a little gig for you. And I ended a, a stream by doing that the uh, the other day, and I think it was really fun. So I think I'm probably gonna end the uh, the stream doing that. Not for a while though. We have a bit. Oh, which way are you going? Pow. 360! Or 720! Oh, I still missed it. Come on! No! No, it's going behind the fence! I tried to show off! No! Oh, I'm gonna I hate this. I'm gonna have to like pick up all of, pick up this person's garden just to, to get this thing. Yeah, so I'll I'll let you uh all of that for a tissue box. I've already got a tissue box. Yeah, so I'll let you guys um decide which uh, which type of song. KK Slide is going to play for us a little bit later on. If you're still hanging around the uh, the stream for for that long. Uh, hello, I have a question. When is Space Den being posted? Says CJ Rocks. Good question. I don't know. It is scheduled. I scheduled it for a bit later. I might schedule it for all even later, just so it's not going on at the same time as the stream. That was a very very good question because I'm not sure the answer. So let me let me look it up and uh, and double check. It's currently scheduled... Oh, scheduled for, for 7.30. So there we go. Space Den is at 7.30. I'll leave it like that. 7.30 should be absolutely fine. And oh, here's the uh, the poo I told you about. Here's the poo that Stacy got me. Eventually, I'm going to make a, uh, a poo shrine somewhere. <laughs> for next time she visits. Oh, no, here's KK Slider. Hello. <laughs> right, where are, the, uh, where are the rest of these fossils then? Oh, right here, apparently. Thank you to... Uh... To us, Stanley, uh, as well as Hollow Melon, who says, Thank you, Stumpy, for being my childhood. I used to watch your Minecraft videos all the time, and I never really showed my appreciation. Uh, thank you. P.S. I called my cat after you. Oh, thank you so much, Hollow. And uh, say hello to uh, the other Stampy as well. The feline Stampy. Uh, Wilco says, uh, Hey, Stampy, are you able to make a disco area? You know, I could. So, uh, my friend Ori, who... Uh, joined the world the other day they did actually um message me and said they had a, a dj booth and like did i need one and i said no at the time but if i end up doing a disco area i think i'd like to do like a like a gig area like to do like a stage and have a bunch of like musical instruments on there and do something like that because then I could do like a, a cool custom design for like the the dance floor and i do have like spotlight lights which are like lights that you put in the ground and I think you can change them to different colors as well so I could do it I'm just really like already beginning to run out of room on my island like I'm not running out of room I got room but like I really need to to plan ahead for where I'm gonna build everything because otherwise I am gonna run out of room <laughs> and then I'm gonna have an idea for a really cool thing to build and I won't be able to do it so I won't have enough room to, to do it Yeah, good idea, though. Uh, how about you get a basement, says Roxy. Yeah, that's the plan. But, like, I need to pay, like, a lot of bells. And I keep seeing really expensive things. There was, like, a a giant, like, 40-inch TV that I bought. And then yesterday, those that are watching the stream will know that there was a, a laptop that was, like, 77,000 bells. And I, like, undernard for ages about whether I was going to buy it. And then I ended the stream and I hadn't bought it yet. I bought it straight after the stream. I couldn't resist. I wanted the laptop. <laughs> I think you may have actually seen it in my... Uh, oh, I need to do that. I might have already seen it in my um, in my room today. I haven't actually uh, decided yet exactly kind of the, the design for what I'm going to be building today. I kind of thought I'd like improvise it a bit. So I don't know what... Uh, oh, that's going to get really annoying. That's something that I didn't think about by putting my farm here is me constantly accidentally picking up my fences and putting them in my pockets. Uh, yeah, I haven't decided the uh, the exact style and shape and kind of how they're going to be. I actually got a thought earlier. I could use, um, rather than using fences, I could use hedges. At least for like the, uh, the flower farm. Because I haven't done any, um, I haven't done any hedges anywhere. I got like the recipe to, to make them. But I haven't actually put any hedges anywhere yet. 
So that would be uh, something that I'd quite like to do. Where are all these fossils? I feel like I've like looked over most of the island. Oh, here's one like right here. And this is where we are we are going to be building today. So I moved uh, in yesterday's stream. I moved this river. So it goes like it used to go like way like across here. So I moved it so it goes down here and it goes like more of a right angle. So just to free up this space here, which should be big enough. So what I'm going to be doing is just working out how much space I need uh, for like the right amount of turn turnips that I want to buy each week. And I'll make it so it just fits in exactly. So I just buy the, the same every time. I moved this river video games things. Yeah, that's the <laughs> that's the way things goes. I got my little shovel out and moved a river. Uh, Fregzo just messaged me and said, uh, "Have you got a money tree?" I do. I have it. I have it in my pocket. I will. I will plant it shortly. So if you don't know of money trees, if you bury like bells at a place where you dig up bells, then you get like three times however much you bury up to ten thousand bells. So if you bury 10,000 bells every day, you basically make 20,000 bells profit every day if you uh, if you do it. So definitely worth doing it. Eric's saying, can I be in the rock garden? <laughs> the rock garden isn't the equivalent as the love garden. Uh, coconut juice and mossy garden rock are the hot items. Right, if I ever need a bunch of money later, I know what to, to go for. Right, what do we what do we have for sale? Oh, these are the spotlights that I was talking about earlier. And then Oh, is this a wall mounted TV? I just bought a like I bought that exact TV, but not a wall mounted version. But I want the wall mounted version. Oh, it's only twenty two thousand. Oh, I'll buy it. Bargain. Bargain. That was worth it. That was worth it. So I now have two TVs. They're exactly the same, but one I can put on the wall. I want it. I want it not for like my living room. I want it for the um for my games room. Uh, let's just sell this gold for now, and then let's go to the uh the clothes shop and see if there's anything I want to buy of those tickets. There we go. That's like I sold from just things I picked up around my island. The price of a wall-mounted TV anyway, so I'm fine. Thank you to uh to Wolf 402 for the uh for the donation. Someone said, "Can you say hi to my dog Miles?" Which really confused me because it's while I was looking at the Nook Miles. Hello, KK Slider. I will be back to listen to the gig. Hopefully, when it has stopped raining a little bit later on. I'm gonna go back to this hour. Do you like this jumper, by the way? I don't know when I got it. I think someone might have given it to me, and I forgot who gave it to me, <laughs> which is really bad. But it's really my style, so that's what I've been uh, wearing now. All right. Is there anything I want to buy? I got those tickets. If I do want to buy anything. Whoa, look at this house print dress. Ooh! Oh, I need this for my uh, for my fancy pants outfit. I got a fancy pants outfit and it would be so good. I mean, that would be very appropriate for, <laughs> for how things are right now. Right, I just need to pick which color hat. I got the white one. She let, let me let me have a quick look at my my fancy pants outfit and try and remember what colors are on it. I want to I want to make sure this uh this matches. Go fancy pants. Oh, it's just all black and white right now. Okay, I could pick pretty much like anything to to go with it. I was kind of tempted to get the white one. I thought it would look quite cool. Then there is like a gold one. Then there's like the black with the red. I'm thinking maybe the black with the red. Or then there's the purple as well. I'm gonna go for this one. And then I think I should be able to use my tickets. 
Do you want to, uh, I don't know where it now. But yeah, I think I just used one of the, the tickets. Yeah, so it didn't, it didn't do any bells. All right, let's, uh, let's go home and uh, I can dump some things in the storage and then we're, we'll add that to the, uh, the option. Oh, sorry, everyone's telling me which one to buy. Sorry to everyone who was suggesting for something else. I made a, uh, I made an executive decision. <laughs> oh yeah, I got some turnips that I left over and didn't sell just because I want them to go moldy because then I get like a, I can't remember what it is. I don't know if it's maggots or there's some animal, some insect that you only get from like out of date turnips. So I had to keep one stack out of date just so I can get whatever animal that is. So I can, I can put that in my turnip garden. It will be a very empty looking turnip garden. But it will at least be a, it will at least kind of mark that this is the turnip garden until tomorrow when I actually get to buy some new turnips. Uh, you get ants and flies, Felicia says. I think you get ants for like, so I know you get, there's something that you get from leaving like junk out. Like tires and stuff like that. Oh, should I check out this TV by the way? Look at my old TV. Let's put it, let's put it up in my bedroom for now. Eventually it's going to be like in my downstairs game room. But for now let's uh, throw it up here somewhere. Just see what it looks like. Man, it looks pretty awesome. Looks pretty awesome. But yeah, look, I have, I have another one of the exact, like it's, it's like a red outline as well. Like how common are TVs that are like red TVs? I got two of them. Probably would prefer a black one, but this will do. Wait, where's the other one? Yeah, look, I've got the exact same TV. I think I think this one actually cost like more than the wall-mounted one. Look, here's my second TV. <laughs> we just leave them both in my living room just to show off for now. <laughs> Uh, right, let's put you in storage, put all this stuff in storage, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we'll add the, the outfit, and then we'll start building. I'll leave the umbrella as well for now, because I know I'm going to keep, um, having to switch to wearing items. But I suppose before we, we, we head out, we should, uh, craft the, uh, the things we want. So I was thinking of doing the the hedges, and then I'll do uh I do hedges around the um the flower garden, and then some sort of walls. I could do that around. <laughs> I could do like the barbed wire fence. So the thing is, I need to have a fence around it, because otherwise anyone who joins my world will be able to just pick up all of my turnips. And I'm not saying that I don't trust the friends on Nintendo that come and join my world. But we have had problems with coconut bandits in the past and I would feel a lot safer if my turnips were were, 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 well, were well protected because when they join your, your world, they can't pick up any items. So I could just surround it in fences and then they can't pick it up. I feel like the barbed wire might be a bit too much, but the, uh, the spike fence actually looks quite cool anyway. Let, let, let's do some spike fences. I didn't plan to do this, but it's quite funny. If I'm like really protecting it. The turnip bandit. <laughs> I do not want there to be a turnip bandit. So I will um, keep them well protected just in case one does show up. And then what did I need to make the, the hedges as well? I've not made any hedges before. Oh, it's probably going to be a load of weeds. I don't know how many weeds I have. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Do the barbed wire. Like the barbed wire would be quite funny. But it's just so ugly. And would so not fit in with the rest of my island. I don't think I want to, to do it. Hello to, uh, Callista. Who says, uh, hi, how are you? Uh, Squishy and the, uh, the floofs in brackets pets. I knew what you meant by floofs. We're all doing good. We were considering having a barbecue later. Then we realised it's probably going to get a bit too late by the time I finish streaming. But we're planning to have a barbecue tomorrow. Which I'm looking forward to. For those that follow the Overwatch League, which is probably none of you, we had a good outcome where London Spitfire managed to win their game today. So, GG's to, to them. 
All right, let's see how we make these uh, these hedge. Uh, where's Alex? Oh, I just let Alex out. We, we walked a little bit ago, and then she slept for ages, and then she got all hyper, so I didn't want to, to leave her in my room with me, so she's with Squashy at the moment. Right, hedges. Whoa, it's loads of stuff. So stone, tree branch, and weeds. I'm just hoping I have enough weeds. So I don't think I can buy weeds, can I? I have too much stuff. Oh, I've, only, I've only got 25 weeds. What I can do, if I need more weeds, which is something that I didn't think I'd be running out of in this game, I can go to, like, I can use a Nook Mile ticket and use that to go to another island when they're always, like, covered in weeds. But I guess we're, we'll wait to see, like, how many more of these hedges I need before we do that. I think that's all I can craft, isn't it? Yeah, so is that like 20 hedges? Might be enough. Eh, probably won't be enough, right? We might need to, to get more weeds later on. Here's my laptop, by the way. What, what am I doing on it? Oh, it's like a, it's got like, a, it's a Mac. It's like a MacBook. It's got like a Mac layout. Busy working. Busy testing out the old, the old on-off switch. I also want to introduce you to a... Uh, Oh, what do we call it? I think, do we call him Herbert, I think? What did, does, does anyone who was here yesterday remember what we named my my new pet? My snapping turtle. <laughs> that is uh, is currently living in my in my shower. What did we what did we name them? Was it Herbert? I might have a picture with them. I haven't had a picture with with, uh, with Herbert yet. It was Herbert. Okay. I did remember. I am a good pet owner and do remember the names of my pets. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> That's me just like really panicked because there's a turtle in my shower. Not Sherbert, Herbert. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna um I was gonna change my, my fancy pants outfit as well, wasn't I? I will change my outfit using my fridge, which counts as a wardrobe. Alright, let's take that hat off. <laughs> that moustache as well. <laughs> oh, now that is a look. We made the right choice. Or I made the right choice with getting that hat. <laughs> right, I, I, might, I, I might wear it now. Just seeing as it's my, my new outfit. Fancy pants. And that hat will uh, protect me from the, the rain pretty nicely as well. Uh, what are you barbecuing? The weather has finally got nice enough in Canada to be outside in shorts. So we don't have like, we have, because we can't really go to the shop very much. We really don't have like loads to, to barbecue. But we have some like sausages. We don't have any burgers, but we have like veggie skewers. Like neither, like, neither of us eat meat anyway. So, we have like rolls and stuff and like veggie sausages and stuff. So, we were going to just cobble together. Like, we kind of just wanted to sit in the garden. We've got like a fire pit in the garden as well. So, we kind of just wanted to, to hang out in the, the garden. Maybe make like a rice dish as well. So, that, that, was the, uh, that was the plan. Because it's so hot right now in England. And also, just noticed it's uh, stopped raining in Animal Crossing and everything. Uh, do you do the barbecuing or, or squashy? It'll be a team effort. Like, I'd probably light it in there. And then, like, keep an eye on it. It's meant to be, like, it's normally, like, the the man, isn't it, who stands by the fire. We don't really, <laughs> we don't really care about that. <laughs> we both help with everything. But, yeah, maybe we should go shopping and get some, like, proper stuff. There's these burgers that are called, like, Beyond Burgers. I don't know if any of you have heard of them. But they're like vegan burgers, but they're like, taste like a lot like meat. And then if you have them with like sauce and like stuff on them, they're well good. We don't have any though, sadly. All uh, right, so where's, where should I do this? The flower garden needs to be bigger than the turnip garden. 
But the turnip garden, it needs to be like in, um... It needs to be in, like, squares. Like, let me explain this. So, say, when I'm dropping items, it will drop, like, an item... So, the, say that's where I am. It will drop an item there and all the way around me. So, what I could do is do, like, three rows of the, the turnips along here and then do a much wider, like, flower garden next to it, which is where I'll be trying to get, like, um... My um, like gold roses and stuff. So I'm I'm gonna what, I'm gonna, what I want to do is I want to leave a gap around. <laughs> look at the spike fences. <laughs> I want to leave a gap around the outside. So if I need to like get around the outside, I can. And I can also plant flowers and stuff there. So is this gonna? Actually, I think I can go one further this way. These fences are ridiculous. So yeah, I can fit around here. And I can fit down here. Now let me let me fill in the walls on the other side. And let me see if that's going to be an efficient way for me to, to spread out my turnips. So if that was there. And then yeah, I think we have like... A good way to test is just to dig a hole. Which is a way to make sure you can get like a full size item there. So yeah, we're fine there. And we're fine there. So this actually kind of works in perfectly. So this would be like all turnips around here. Then we could probably do like one or maybe even two more of them. Depending on, on how risky I get with my turnip prices. I normally do buy a lot of turnips. I'm pretty like low risk. I buy loads. But then I sell them like as soon as I'm going to make an okay profit. Like I don't wait out for ages. For those that don't know how like the turnips work in Animal Crossing... Basically, you buy them every Sunday morning, if you want. And then, uh, they're a set, like, price, or, like, a random price. And then, throughout the week, that price changes. And you can, like, try and make money by, like, reselling them. So let me, uh, let me dig holes where the turnips would be. So there's a gap there, gap there, and then there'd be a turnip here. Then, like, gap there... Gap there, turn it here. So then I need to just make sure I have room, like, to surround the whole whole way around the outside. Uh, are you gonna get Minecraft on the the Switch? I've already got Minecraft on the Switch. I've done a, I've done a few videos on it. Like I did, like the uh, there's like Mario maps that you get free with the uh, the Minecraft edition. I did videos out on that. I wonder if I should just do like do these three in a row like that's a that's a decent amount of turnips to have along there right and then i have room here where i can do like uh like put a well or do some other decorations and that and then this here could be my flower garden and then oh i also i also want to make a silo as well I, I also I also want to make a silo. Oh no, I need to I need to change to doing construction. Say goodbye to uh to fancy pants and say hello to let's build because I need to <laughs> I need to do some constructions. <laughs> hello to uh to pickle chin. Welcome to the other uh, stream. Says uh, hello Sampi. I'm glad you're doing well during this time. Uh, also, if you're still writing, how's it going? I am still writing. It's going okay. Like I'm I'm editing at the moment, so I'm I'm going back through uh, book one. I have written three books out of what will be four and i'm going back through the the first one and editing it uh, also practicing reading it for the audiobook uh, but yeah thanks for asking hope you're doing good as well uh wilco says have you looked into playing ark survival evolved uh not really i'll be honest i don't think it's really my style of game to be honest i think squid does videos on it though so maybe uh check out his if you want uh, what are your books about? They're like, um, like adventures. It's kind of like a little bit fantasy, a little bit sci-fi. Hopefully a little bit funny, a little bit of comedy, a bit of drama. I don't want to say too much just because like, I know if I was going to read a book, like I wouldn't want to know much about it. Are these, are these like fancy? Are these, are these fancy? Are these fancy butterflies? Are these like the tiger ones? Are these worth a lot of money? Come here. Come here. 
Tell me you little butterfly. So I need money. Come here. Oh no! My faithful net. Do I have a backup net? I do. Look at this. Look how smart I am with all of my my backup tools. You need it. They break so fast in this game. Normally my net lasts a while, so I don't catch too many bugs. All right. The uh, this other tiger, tiger butterfly, thought they're going to escape, but not quite. All three sixty. Doing. I pounced first. I know, that's the uh, the tiger beetle, isn't it? They go like, I caught the tiger beetle, I guess I bounce first. The worst, so they always do like a really bad pun when you like catch things. Or like just a bad joke. And the worst one, or the funniest one that me and Squeeze were really laughing about the other day, is when you catch a clownfish, it goes like, Oh, I caught a clownfish. I wonder how many could fit into a clown, no, into a, oh, I messed it up. I messed it up. Maybe I should just catch one of it. So you catch it. He goes, oh, a clownfish. I wonder how many I could fit into a carfish, is what it says. Which is uh... <laughs> such a bad joke, but I love it. I kind of want, um... I don't, I don't know if I want these to be under, like, in the mud as well. I might, what, what do you reckon about doing, like, normal dirt for where, like, for where these are? Just to make a bit more of a separation. I know it doesn't like really link up, but I think that makes it look a bit better. I don't like it with just the the grass of those stakes going into it. I'll fix that mistake a bit later. Let me try, let me try this out. It's so quick putting the fences down, it doesn't really take long to, to change it. Put down a sign that says do not take. I was thinking of that. I was thinking of doing like like a picture of a turnip with like a big cross through it or something. I wonder if there's any like, um, has anyone found anything in Animal Crossing which is like, <laughs> like a security camera or something. Like something else to like, to be like guarding them would be funny. There's got to be something like that, right? Like a security camera. There is a, um, I know you can get like a dog house. I could like, if I get the dog house, I could put it outside and do it like a guard dog would be funny. Uh, Roxy says make a farmer outfit if you haven't already. That could be funny. I'm out of like, um, I'm out of slots for my, for my one, for my different outfits I can do. I wish you could like, I don't know, maybe store different outfits in different ones or just have more of them. But I've already filled them up and I don't know which one I'd like, which one I'd get rid of. Maybe my boring one? <laughs> Which is like literally called boring, which is meant to be like my my everyday normal outfit. I do like it, but maybe I could get rid of that and do like a, a fancier one. Uh, there are security cameras, but they don't work. Oh yeah, yeah, I just want something that will like look like these are being guarded. Okay, I'll be honest. I'm not 100% sure about the uh, the two-tone dirt effect. But you've just seen me place suit down these fences, remove all of these fences, and now replace all of these fences. I'm not going to put you through it again, so I'm going to leave it as it is for now. <laughs> and then maybe, maybe change it a little bit later on. Was that a, is that a peacock butterfly? No, it's not. Don't panic about the uh, that present, by the way. I was just waiting for it to uh, fly over the water. I might as well get these these fences done first. I didn't miss it. Don't worry. <laughs> Getting lucky with all of these uh, these bell ones, though. Yeah, you can like pop them and then they fall straight down in the water, which is like the uh, the saddest thing in the world. So I'm gonna wait for it to be clearly over the the land. Uh, Zangief says rank your villages from best to worst. I've done, I've, I would, I've done it loads of times. Like I've done it like I think I've done it three times in streams so far. And so I don't wanna do it again just for those that have been watching all the streams and are, are fed of me. Being mean to, to to certain ones. I got a I got a urinal. 
Maybe I could, uh, maybe I could put this in here, and it could be like the, uh, it could be like the sprinkler. <gasps> maybe I, maybe I should include this with the, uh, in the poo shrine. I'm doing a shrine for the poo that Stacy gave me. Maybe it should be like, maybe I could build like a mound, like this. And it could have all lights on, it could have the poo at the top, and then just all toilets around the outside. That's not how you uh, pronounce it. Oh yeah, I think in America you say urinal, and then in England we say urinal. Unless like everyone says it the other way and I just say it wrong. Anyway, let's uh, let's protect my turnips. You know, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, wait a minute. Grab 10. <gasps> I can sell these. I didn't realize, I didn't realize, because these are all going to go out of date. I, I only need one for it to uh, to go off to to get the bug. Let's leave you there. Let's see. Oh, what what are my turnip prices? I have loads more that I could sell that I didn't realize. Let's go see. I, I didn't know I could like separate them out like that. One hundred forty eight bells a turnip. That is a big profit. I think I bought them for like 92 or something. That is so, so lucky. I, that, I spotted that in the last second. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Squish, don't sell. Give me turnip. Can I have one? Oh! Oh, oh can I can I cancel? Oh, so Squish, well, Squish, you need one. Oh, no, it's okay. I got it. I, 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 I grab you off one. Or ten. Then I'll sell the rest. <laughs> Just one turnip. Oh, I should have sold the uh I got a fossil as well in my pockets. God, they they were worth so much. I think that was selling for more than um for more than I sold them from before. I'll keep the uh, the standing toilet for now. I'm sure I'm sure I'll find some use for it. I might actually also buy this spotlight, and I've already got spotlight, but I know I'm going to use a bunch of them in my basement, and I can order them. But if they're just here, it just means I don't need to wait for them to be ordered. Is there any like uh, I want more like farming stuff? My turnips spoiled? No. Well, if your turnips are spoiled, don't get rid of them straight away. Save at least one and you can get like whatever bug it is you get from uh, from them. Let me see if I can make a silo. Well, I know I can make one, but let me see how I make a silo, I guess. And maybe see if there's any other good like farming stuff that I can make or have already. It's okay. So close. You <laughs> to be, to well, you can buy them tomorrow anyway. I know, but I wanted one to go off tonight. <laughs> I just thought if you had not they had spare. Plus, what do you even deny? Yeah, I, yeah. Didn't, I had like a stack. It looks like one, but I had like a whole stack. It was so funny. She literally went up to them, like, went to go sell them, got the prize. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> happened to glance off at the chat at the right oh my time. Gosh, that Squashy, to make it up for me giving you the turnip. I've got your presents. No, I, do you have any weeds? Yeah. Do I have some weeds? I, I, I want to make some hedges. Yeah, I have some. I think I do. Alright, are you coming over? Alright, Squashy's going to be making a, a delivery. She's gonna, she said she's got a present for me. She's going to bring me some weeds and I'll give her the, uh, the turnip as well. Oh, I didn't make it! <laughs> I gave it all of the stuff I needed to make the silo that I just left. <laughs> too, uh, too eager to get out. Oh, Poppy's in, by the way. For those asking for, for Corgi Cam. Fox! Come in! Up! Sit! Down! Oh, you can't even see her. She did, she did what I, she did what I told her to do, I promise. <laughs> Little cutie pie. She's, she's not gonna stay there for long. She's only gone there because I told her to. 
she'll be bringing me a toy or something in a moment. Just, just you wait. Everyone's saying, the chair, the chair is blocking. Right, let me, I'll make up. I'll leave it on Corgi Cam for a bit. No, she wants to go out. She wants to go out. There you go. You had a, you had a little look. Uh, Stabby, would you ever play Spider-Man on PS4? Uh, I've already played through it. Uh, I just played through it, uh, just with me and Squishy. Uh, we always play through games with like one of us playing, the other one watching. That was one that we played through. Look at all my toilets! It's got portable toilets, squat toilets, toilet toilets. I got a B-Day. I got my, my urinal or my standing toilet that I just got. I got so many toilets. Living a life of luxury. Oh, these are like different colored floor lights as well. All uh, right, I want to find a new place for that well. So I moved that when I uh, I moved the river. Look at this as well, these cogs. And then this wallpaper. Let me show you this wallpaper as well. Oh no, not that one. That was like a flowery one. That's not. <laughs> That's not what the the one I went to pick up. Look, look at this. Look at this one I got the other day, the laboratory wall. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. It's a bit mad. Look, look at this. <laughs> How cool is that? Maybe I could do my like downstairs game room as like a laboratory. Stampy secret base. I also got one which is um. Let's go back to my boring one. Uh, I also got one which is like the sky and like the cloud. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Oh, did I go past it? Yeah, look. Check out this one as well. I did try this one out in my, my bedroom. But look, if you look closely... See like uh, the clouds move, like the t see the clouds like the top row of clouds, and then like the the water kind of like twinkles a bit. Open the the gate. Oh, is Squishy, is Squishy ready? Oh, open the gate for Squishy. Okay, I will do. Not to call her out or anything, but did Alex ever do anything bad or annoying as a puppy? Sorry, Alex. Oh, yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she absolutely did. I mean, she was a puppy. Like, she didn't, she didn't know anything. Like, she was very bitey as a puppy. Like, not vicious, but, like, a lot of puppies, like, they, like, play bite. Like, that's the way they play, is, like, by biting. She was very bitey, very chewy for a very long amount of time. As in, like, she would chew things, not she was chewy. <laughs> um, yeah, she's, uh, for, like, toilet training. She's always been, like, golden for, for that. Like, obviously she had to, to learn, but, like, like, apart from when she was really, really young, she's never, ever had an accident. <laughs> Fingers crossed, touch wood somewhere. <laughs> she's never had an accident when she's gone toilet inside. So, yeah, she's pretty good. Her main thing is, like, she jumps up on people, like, still today. And, like, when she's, like, scared. Like, say if she hears, like, a random noise outside, she'll bark. But, like, not, like, constant barking like some dogs do. It'd be like a... Ruff! Like that kind of kind of bark. <laughs> Are you okay, Orville? Orville? Oh, no! Communication error. Let me try again. I love the way, like, when he's trying to work it out, he's just there, like... Alright, well, give us a second go. Uh, if not, we might have to... We might have to... To wait for her to join for a little bit later. Arogo, uh, Arogo says, uh, Hi, Subby, can you do, uh... Your, uh, your next stream on battle mode on Xbox One? Like, I, I tried that before, and it was okay, but then, like, when, like, too many people joined, like, the game just kept lagging out. And so that kind of put me off doing it again. I might give it another try. 
Okay, I gotta take the uh, the app off. But it looks like it's working now. There we go. Okay, it's working. Right, you can join Squishy! I think she's watching the other stream anyway, so she can see. That was very pronto. One of the things that I, I've been thinking of trying to work out for something to do on the island, but I don't know where to do it, is I really want to do... So imagine this is a bridge, okay? And then this is a mountain, this Xbox controller. And then this PlayStation 2 controller, which I have at hand. Is another mountain. Okay, so the bridge is here. I uh, I want to show that you can go over the bridge and you're looking into the distance, like through like a ravine. So imagine on like the horizon, my face is the horizon, and these are mountains, and you walk over and you can see up into the distance. So it's like a, a bridge where like before you go on the bridge, you can't see any of the view. But then while crossing the bridge, you can see like way into the distance, like over like a, a river that curves around and then just like a big mountain. Kind of like uh, if any of you have been to like Venice and like when you're crossing like there'll be a lot of bridges that you cross and they have like really great views down. I really want to do that somewhere, but it would mean like a whole bunch of terraforming and I need to like find out um, a good place to do it. Oh, there's an example of Alex hearing a uh, <laughs> hearing a sound and barking. <laughs> Let's take her to uh to my new turnip place. Actually, no, I don't want her to steal the turnips. Oh no, I don't I don't want to take her down there because I haven't finished the wall yet. I don't want to steal my turnips. I don't want to turnip bandit. Don't 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 you do it. Okay, I thought she was gonna go to the the coconut bandit. All right, she's gonna be nice to me. Because I have turnips for her. Oh, I, ne I nearly ate them. No! No, don't you go there! Don't you go there! Right. I, I can I can stand here. And I can block her in. Until she... Actually, I'm going to pick it up. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I can still trap her in. This is my frog trap. <laughs> oh, she got me presents. Okay, I let her out. Oh, what's that? Oh, <laughs> I can't get the present. Uh, was, was that a papa panda? Was that? I do have a, a panda in my uh, in my room already. Oh wait a minute, have I still got my turnips? Yeah, I still got my turnips to go back. I'm still okay. Oh, and a DIY recipe. A boomerang. <laughs> Is this just something that you like you put on the side? Like, can you actually use it? That's cool. I think it's just something to go on the, the wall. I might definitely use that though. I might definitely use that. Uh, Squishy, do you have the weeds? The main thing I need is the weeds. Where is she? She's, she's gone to my coconuts, hasn't she? I know it. I know she's gone to my coconuts. She did every time she said, I got coconuts here. I know, we're okay. And she. And I always say I want to leave the coconuts on the trees because I think it looks good. And I'm always scared she's going to go for them. I'm going to have to stay near to, to guard them. Uh, I need the I need the weeds though. Where did she go? Does it show where she is on the map? It doesn't. Oh, here she is. Hey, it's crazy. No, don't go any further. Drop, drop the weeds. That's all I need. Oh, I've completed all my DI DIY things. Oh, another oh, guard garden rock recipe. I don't think I have this yet. Squishy, can I have the uh, the weeds if you have them? Oh, she's gonna use the pole. Where's oh, she gone? <laughs> Thank you, Squishy. No, she's going. 
She's coming. <laughs> don't you do it, Squishy. You stay. Don't. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, Froggy. You keep. No, don't you do it. Don't. No. Why? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> and they take so long to grow back. Right, let me go. Let me grab the weeds and then kick her out the world. <laughs> Every time, sad face. <laughs> we saw it coming. Yeah, I saw it coming as well. I kind of took it as like, I'll sacrifice the coconuts. As long as I can get all of the uh, the other stuff that I want. Bad froggy, says Kira. <laughs> like, the thing is, she doesn't even steal the coconuts. She just knows I like them being left on the tree. So she just shakes them and leaves them. Which kind of which feels like... Kind of feels a bit worse than even if she just took them. Yeah, look, maybe we could put this silo, like, down here. How big is it? This could be like a good space for this here. You can still get around the, the front of it. Oh, I still have this well as well. This well as well. I'm going to put it back down to pretty much where it was. Oh yeah, and I got my, my panda as well. Whoa! <laughs> it's enormous! It's enormous! I've been given a giant moth today and a giant panda. Let's go put it in my uh, in my bedroom and see how it looks. I don't have the weeds. Oh, did it not give them to me? Oh, no, I, I got the weeds. I got the weeds. Oh, yeah, my, uh, my room's already a little bit overrun from TVs. Yeah, I thought that was a big panda. Let me place this other one down and see how big it is. Whoa. Uh, okay, is this even going to, like, all fit in? Big panda. Medium panda. Let's move this lamp down here somewhere. Baby bear. I want a um. I want I want a baby panda so I can have like the three different sizes of panda. Look at this thing! I can't even like fit round to get next to it. Let me have let me have a, a picture with my panda selection. Oh, don't need to put a Instagram filter over it. Ah, uh, go around again. <laughs> I kind of like the way I'm just blocked a little bit by the uh, by the bonsai tree. There's me. Happy with all my pandas. All uh, right, let's make more of those uh, those hedges while we're here. Then now I got the uh, the weeds. Was it uh, branches, stones, and weeds? Right. I think that's what I needed to, to make the hedges. Oh, that. I might make that boomerang as well. It looks quite cool. Hi, Danny. Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to see if there's any other, like, garden-y stuff I can craft. I mean, maybe, like, the water pump? There's got to be like more stuff I'll be able to get uh, a little bit later on. Uh, is it worth buying a Switch? What games are, are available? Uh, I'd say so. Definitely now. Like when the Switch first came out, I'd be like, yeah, like if you really love like Zelda, it's worth getting it because there wasn't loads of games out. But now there are so many games out for the Switch. And also just like loads of games that are out on the other consoles as well. But you might as well get them on Switch because you can play them like 
you know, play them at home on your TV or portable. It's like up to you. So I'd recommend it. And they're pretty cheap now. Even if you get like a Switch Lite, which are like well cheap, like considering like how good they are. Uh, those people are doing uh, game suggestions as well. People saying like Hollow Knight, Stardew Valley and stuff. Uh, Alright, let's put the uh, boomerang up somewhere. I'm, I'm pretty gonna have to move that that giant moth somewhere. I'm just gonna put the boomerang. Maybe like uh, above the above the window? Above the desk? That is pretty cool. Alright, I think for, for now I'm gonna have to get rid of this giant moth. It's just a, just a little bit too big. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3. Obviously Animal Crossing, the game I'm playing right now is good. Uh, can you use the, the Switch Lite on your TV? Uh, you can't. So Switch Lite's just portable only. So yeah, if you, if you wanna be playing on your, on a big screen, then just get a, uh, just get a normal Switch. But like the new normal- No! No! Don't eat! Don't! Don't! Don't eat it! Don't! No! I pressed the wrong button! I pressed the wrong button! <laughs> I pressed the wrong button! I went to drop it! I meant to drop it! No! I just- Oh, those turtles will have so much money. I just ate them all. Just ten of them down in one. <laughs> no! I was, I was trying to be too quick. Now my turnip garden doesn't even have a single turnip in it. Oh, that is so sad. That is so sad. <laughs> no! Like, the thing is, is I know it's really funny that I did that by accident, but I'm also genuinely really sad. Like, not only because, like, I wanted to get, like, the, uh, the insects from it. But also just because, like, I wanted for my turnip garden to have at least one turnip in to mark it's a turnip garden. Whist, no, you have it. I ate, I went... <laughs> I went to scream from downstairs, so I bet you Squishy said she heard me screaming from downstairs, and guess what happened? I went to drop it, and I just ate it. Look, I got like 10, because I ate 10 of them. So I got like 10, like, strength points or whatever. No, it's okay, no, I can It's okay. <laughs> Squishy, Squishy, she's sending me back the one I just gave to her. <laughs> Oh dear. May I tell you what, seeing as the turnips are inside my belly, maybe I should stand into- maybe, maybe secretly all along I was the turnip. Maybe that's the big twist. So this is- this is gonna be the flower garden. Which is gonna be like one place where I'm- I used to like mix the, the different types of flowers around. I haven't really decided how I'm gonna have this thing yet. I think I can go like one down lower there maybe, or maybe not. I can always like shift the uh, the river across a bit if I need to. Like this isn't huge compared to like places that I've had flowers spreading before. But I've got like a, um, a bunch of the, the different colors already. So it doesn't need to be massive. I think it's going to be mainly to get like golden roses. And there you go. I can still fit around the other side. I kind of want like, I kind of want some decorations with it as well though. So I might do this one. Uh, I might once again, uh, I'm going to have to switch to, to build mode here again. Sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. Fancy pants. I was enjoying being <laughs> fancy pants as well. But I'm gonna go and do change the uh, the floor down here. But I want like either a tree or a statue or like something in the the middle uh, as well, just to add a, a bit more decoration to it. Even though it'll, like mean it takes up a bit more space. Yeah, I think Sway she's sending me the uh, the turnip in the post, I believe, if it lets her. Uh, 
there. So I think I'll do this as a... Actually, I guess I'll do it because it's meant to be flowers. I'll do this as, like, dark dirt as well. Same as the, uh, the turnip patch. Put the moth in the middle, says Marley. Now that's a suggestion and a half, isn't it? What do you guys think about the, the moth? What, what do you think about the moth? That could be a cool thing to have in the, the middle. If you sit on the toilet, you can get them back, says Mia. Wow. Wow, Mia. That's gross, Mia. Quite funny, but still gross, Mia. Do the moth. Good idea. That is good, because I really like the moth, and I did want to find a place to put it. But it's probably just a, a bit too big to have as a, uh, as a home ornament. Uh, a fountain's also a good idea, but I think it would just be a bit too big. Unless it was like a, unless there's like a smaller fountain that you can get. Let's uh, let's put the other uh, moth down and let's uh, let's try that out. And see what that looks like. Uh, what is your island rating, Stampy? Says KJ Studios. It's a uh, casual five out of five stars. Thanks for asking. I only read out your comment because I wanted to to brag about my island rating. <laughs> Right, do I, do I have an exact middle to this area? Because if I don't, the moth might look a bit more. Well, I'm not sure. Let's, uh, let's go, let's go grab the moth. And let's, uh, check it out and see how it looks. It deeply disturbs me that the, the hedge isn't in the, the middle. What do you mean? In the, in the middle of, in the middle of what? But the, is it, the moth's quite big though. The moth might be like four by four. So even if there isn't like a single point middle, it still might actually fit in, okay? And if not, we could look. <laughs> what about the Statue of Liberty? Or just a skeleton? <laughs> a toilet? An astronaut suit? Uh, Sambi, open your gate again. I can't post them. Uh, okay. I go, I go open my gate quick now. And then I'll, I'll try out the, the moth. But Squashy, I appreciate you giving me back the turnips. But if you go towards the right end of my island, I'm ending session. So give me the turnips straight away. I need to save the rest of my coconut trees. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that the uh, the moth will fit in the middle. If not, we might be able to like move some uh, some stuff around to, to make the area a bit bigger. Make could maybe move the uh, some of the paths or the uh, the river and do what I want. It's my island. <laughs> Kaylee says thanks for making my name a big inside joke. So okay, Kaylee, Kaylee, a message. And I kept calling her Kylie. <laughs> she made fun of me mispronouncing her name. But now, now I, now as long as I actively think and concentrate, I, I'm able to, to say it right. The thing is, is I know what everyone's thinking. I gotta be so careful to not go straight back there and eat the eat the turnip again. I gotta be so careful to, to place it down. Right, I'm going to I'm gonna wait here. With my with my bewildered face. While we wait for uh while we wait for, for Squashy to arrive. Welcome to everyone who's just jumping on the, the stream now. We uh we just built uh, we maybe maybe make a few changes, but we just built a a turnip garden. Which is basically a, a place to to store all of my turnips as I buy them all to, tomorrow. All I need to do is work out exactly how many turnips to buy to completely fill that area and just buy the same each week. And then now we are in the process of building a, a flower garden. So if you don't know with the flowers, the way they work is basically if you put like 
a flower here, and then like a flower here, and then there's a gap in the middle. Then if you water the flowers, then these flowers will combine and make a new colour in the middle. So if you have like a red rose and a white rose, like this, and you water them, then you should get a, a pink rose, uh, should spawn in the, the middle. Then also, now I've got a gold watering can. Uh, apparently, uh, if you have black roses, if you water them with the gold watering can, uh, then they should spawn in uh, gold roses. What do gold roses do? Uh, oh, see you later, Wilco. Wilco's off. Let me, yeah, let me look at what gold roses do. Like, are they just worth money or do they just look really fancy? So I'd have to find a place to, to put them. Uh, how to grow and breed them. Uh, what do I need flowers for? At the beginning of the game, you are on a blank canvas. Uh, flowers are, uh, are useful tools in DIY recipes. They can also earn nook moles while trading them. Right, what, 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 what's like gold flowers though? Maybe they're just used for like special recipe. I think they're just pretty. I might try like selling one of them just to see whether they're worth a lot. But I don't think there's like anything just um, particularly like different or like special about them. Unless I'm wrong. Let me know if, uh, let me know if I'm wrong. Can I have my turnip, please, Squishy? <laughs> oh, what's she doing? What's she doing? I knew it'd be, I knew it'd be too easy for her just to come and give me the turnips. Oh, she's just trying to be. She wants me to be careful and, uh, and not eat them. They are for worms. Oh, worms is what they get. So, Squishy, I think that, like, if I put the turnips out and they turn bad, I don't think they're going to disappear or anything. So I think that I'll get a worm from it, then I can give it back to, to you, and then you can get a worm from it anyway. So I think we can share the turnip anyway. So I, I, I think that, like, like, I think we're both going to be able to get worms. And I've always wanted worms. <laughs> And finally, me and Squishy are both going to be able to get worms. <laughs> you know what I'm really tempted to do? I was really tempted just to pick them up and just eat them. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so funny? What would she Oh, she's gonna be a, a creepy dolly and a blue design kitchen mat. Hmm. More presents. Oh. <laughs> I almost just ate them. See? It's not just me. So the thing is, with different items, there's a... <laughs> oh, that would be so funny if she ate them. <laughs> with different items, the menus are, are different. So say if I said to just drop this, it's just got place item and then drop it. But on this, it's got like drop and then eat. So see what I mean? Like it's like things are in different order. So you always got to be really like super... <laughs> <laughs> YouTube.com slash squish quirk. Like, you always got to be, like, super careful to, like, click on the, the right thing. Because if you try and do it, like, instinctively or try and do it too fast, then you can, uh, you can very easily mess up. <laughs> uh, thank you, Michael, for the donation. Uh, sadly, I'm not giving out, uh, dodo codes. Uh, because I'm building, and uh, I can't build while uh, any people are here. Squishy was just delivering me some uh, some fresh toast. Squishy, I need I need to keep building now. Squishy, <laughs> I appreciate the uh, the turnips back, but I need to build. Okay, I'm gonna end the session. If she's gonna if she's gonna start being evil. <laughs>
Bye bye, Squishy. Right, I'm going to be so careful that I actually drop this turnip rather than a. Oh, she was doing moi for a. I thought you were doing moi. -ha. So when she does Coconut Bandit, she goes like moi ha ha ha. So I thought that was she was like. That was like she was hinting at. Go back in the uh, the construction mode because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to end up changing something. It's actually almost uh, six o'clock. That's when we can do the uh, the KK slider gig. Right, first things first. Let's see whether the oh, what's the dolly look like? Is it gonna be really creepy? Oh, it's terrifying. It's she. I've already got one of these terrifying dollies. Right, we are not going to decorate that in the uh, in the middle. Does that look central? I find it really hard to judge. I think it needs to be like further forward this way. I can dig like holes around it to try and like work it out. The dolly is from Jamie. Okay. He's not expecting a thank you, is he? Because <laughs> he won't get one. I'm, I'm just, wor I'm worried that this is like, this area is just too small to have enough good like flowers in it. But I don't know how to like, um, I mean, I could make it slightly bigger maybe by moving the river a little bit, but that would only give me like one extra row down. Then I could move it slightly further to the left. But then it would just be getting like really close to this path. Maybe I should just do it so it's like touching the part, like the, like not worry so much about leaving a gap around the side. So I do like the idea of having all of like the, the farmy stuff to, together. And I like having the moth in the middle. But like it takes up more room than I thought because like, like the wings take up, like it's not just the platform. The wings take up a bunch of the room as well. Let's, some, let's dig some holes and see if it is actually in the, the middle for starters. Oh, what's that bug? I just dug like a bug out of the ground. What are you? Is that like a cockroach? Oh, where's it going? I can't see over the hedge. It's trapped now! It's trapped now! Oh, it just- What?! What?! Literally, just like, it knew it was gonna get caught, and it's like, okay, I'm just gonna stop existing. It just disappeared. That was outrageous. Uh, so I think the thing is, is because it's like, between... two of these, it's kind of taking up like... Yeah, it's taking up four squares going just this way alone. So I think it's just like taking up too much room. Hmm. I think it's going to have to be a, a no-go for the moth here, I'm afraid. I think if I find something that's like just one block wide, I can add that in. Otherwise for now, I think I might just leave it. I can do like a proper like little entrance though. If I do like this, like that. And maybe do a, so the path like goes down into it. Like it's not like I need to breed loads of flowers. Like this place doesn't have to be massive. Let's get some, uh, let's get some, uh, black roses then. And let's, uh, let's go put them in. And then I can go and water them. And that can be a place where we get our, our gold roses. Maybe I'll use that as an area just to get the gold roses. And then maybe have, like, some sort of gold statue or something in the middle. I think I've got some of them down here. Here we go. Because they need to be, like, a crisscross pattern themselves as well. So they need like even more room than they would otherwise. And 
I think I might have some more just lying around this way somewhere as well. I think you get the black roses by mixing two white roses. Oh, here we go. Here's loads. Those ones are kind of there for decoration, so I'll leave them there for now, at least. And then I might go grab, I got like a bunch of the, the tulips. That I've been trying to, to mix to get different colors. What colors was I trying to get again? So on this row I had like yellow and white. Oh, I think I think I wanted to get orange, I think I was trying to, to get. So let's go and spread like a bunch of the, the tulips around in there. So I guess like so for orange would I need like red? Is it red and white I would need? then I suppose that like for a lot of the other plants that I just have planted around the place anyway like they end up just kind of getting mixed like whether I help it or not and spreading so then that would be a good way to get other specific colors all right so let's do the uh, the tulips up here I guess if I just alternate each color. I just really want something in the middle. I mean, I could just plant a tree. That feels like too easy. <laughs> too simple. place oh rocky says gold roses are a thousand bells and blue roses are a chore to make oh yeah getting the uh, the gold roses are definitely going to be worth it then yeah so maybe we'll do like the uh, the bottom half to get the gold roses and then um like the area on top just whatever other color that i need at that time So at the moment is orange tulips. And I think this is how I get orange tulips. Maybe I need to add some like yellow ones in as well. Yeah, let's go get a few uh, yellow tulips to add in. I kind of want to fill like the, the whole place with flowers anyway, just to kind of mark it like as my proper flower garden. And then I'm going to go and uh, re-add my, my turnip into my turnip farm and hopefully this time not accidentally eat my turnip uh oh orange is yellow and red okay yeah so i do need the the yellows i guess i'll get pink turnips for the um the red and the the white ones would <laughs> probably make it a little bit more sense like a bunch of those flowers down there weren't mixing because i had too many mannequins in the way so they had they had no room to to spread before There you go this is looking pretty good uh i don't need to to water the other ones because it was raining earlier but if i water these uh these roses then they should turn into to gold roses yeah i think i think i might eventually just have this as just my my place to get gold roses a little gold roses farm down here 
Then I won't need it as much room. Right, let's go and uh, and re-add my my turnip to my well-protected turnip garden. And please don't accidentally eat it. Right, drop item. There we go. I did it. The turnip has been returned. So that one's just left there, uh, left there to go moldy, uh, and then we we'll be able to, to get a, a worm from it. Yeah. So why? Why? One more like um. Like things like, it'd be good to get like, what I want is things like tools, like a spade, like dug into the ground and maybe like a wheelbarrow and stuff just to be like around this area. Cause we got like the rose garden there and then we've got like the turnip farm here, well protected. <laughs> and then up here is like the, the whole orchard. This is like become just like the whole like farm area. Let me go see what the, the orchard looks like from the uh, the top of this place now. Oh, it's going to look so good once all of these trees have grown. I, I need to go and have another clear out, just chopping out a bunch of, uh, chopping down a bunch of the other trees just to, to give room for, for them. And then I, I know I like, I think I just don't have it yet. I know I'm going to find the, uh, the perfect decoration that I can leave in the, the middle of this area as well. Or even like... Something that would look good to have like on all four corners, like something that could like fit in these corners down here. But I think I'll leave it for now and just wait until I get the, the perfect thing. And then I can add some more street lights and uh, things that are around the service area here. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much perfectly timed now for us to do the, uh, the KK slider gig. So let's go and uh, finish doing our construction. I think I'm gonna, um, Go back to my fancy pants outfit, and then we can all decide to, together uh, which type of song we want from uh, from KK Slider. Uh, thank you, uh, amazing Ross, for the donation. It says, uh, oh, the bug is a mild cricket. If you hear chirping, there's probably one under the ground near you. Ah! So did I just get really lucky because I was just digging? That I happened to, to dig it up? Right, when I'm playing with my sound louder, I need to really listen out and keep digging up. So I've definitely not got one of them yet. So I haven't, uh, I haven't donated one of them to the, um, to the museum yet. Happy birthday to, uh, to Natalie, who's, uh, it's their 13th birthday today. Uh, thank you as well to, uh, to Wolfie, who's been watching, uh, my videos since 2015. And, uh, Calissa says, uh, is there any new habits you've picked up during quarantine? Uh, like laziness? I've picked up uh, <laughs> the habit of being really lazy and waking up really late in the day. Does that count? Is that the uh, <laughs> the type of uh, of thing that you were thinking of? Uh, I'm trying to think what other what other habits I've picked up. Nothing else really. I like because we uh, obviously work from home anyway. Like things haven't like changed like that much for us we're just doing like loads more like i think like what most people are doing like doing loads more like online calls and like online hangouts and stuff so i guess that's the biggest change that's like probably the uh the the same for for everyone anyway it's time for the uh the kk slider game we're here like super eager here already like the as soon as we can do it what's buzzing stempy you always make for a real keen scene you hip to a song tonight let's hear it Cool, cool. Any requests? I can dial up an old favourite, or you can just tell me how you're feeling and I'll groove. I always like to do it like the mood, based on what the mood is. What's the mood in Stampyville? So we got, uh, let's do, let's do a proper vote for this then. Seems it's a, uh, as a, as it's a big decision. I'll set up a, a proper poll for you all to, to vote in. Right, I will put the uh, the link to the uh, the poll in the the chat. So if you uh, if you want to vote, make sure you uh, you do it based on the uh, the poll in the the chat rather than just typing it in the uh, in the chat. If you want your your vote to, to be counted, and then we'll end the the stream by listening to the uh, the the song to, together, and then that will be a, a song that I'll be able to to keep and play on any of my music players for the uh, the rest of the time I play Animal Crossing. 
Right, let me put the uh, put in the, the chat one more time for, for those of you that missed it. Those of you that are on mobile and they've really hidden the comments and you're probably struggling to, to, to try and find where it is. <laughs> so do your, your vote and then that will be the uh, the song that we listen to. I always love the, the KK Slider songs. Especially the, the ones where he, like, he sings loads in them. Just because the uh, the Animal Crossing singing voices are, are absolutely amazing. Why isn't feeling good an option in the, the poll? Uh, there is! Oh, 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 did I not write it as an option? Oh no, I missed out good! I didn't put feeling good. <laughs> Sorry! Feeling good is not an option. It's either grumpy, laid back, blue or hard to say. <laughs> Apologies to anyone who's, uh, who's feeling good. I forgot to type it in. That is my bad. <laughs> right, okay, that's it. Time's up, time's up. Clicking the results. And the winner... By 50% is laid back. 27% uh, said blue. 13 said hard to say. And 10% said grumpy. So by the large majority, laid back is the, the winner. Sorry for uh, for feeling good because you were, you were out of the, the running. So I am going to end the, the stream here. We will end with the, the song. But uh, for my part of the, the stream, that is going to be the end of it. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy the song. And uh, I'll see you with my next stream that will be coming sometime next week. Thank you.